If I'm being held to uh, obey the court's orders, uh, I'm asking that the defense be held to that, too. Uh, this is something we litigated at a Daubert hearing. We spent time on this. Uh, so. You know, I am going to interrupt you, and I'm, then I'm going to let you talk again. The dynamic between judge and prosecutor takes center stage for the second straight day in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, the 18-year-old charged with killing two people during racial justice riots in Wisconsin last summer. Judge Bruce Schrader now taking issue with Assistant District Attorney Thomas Binger's facial expressions. I'm a little bit challenged when you say, uh, is there something that I'm saying that draws the face that you're making? I, Go ahead. Say what you want to say. I have to say, Your Honor, yesterday I was uh, the target of your ire for disregarding your orders. Today, the defense is disregarding your order. Binger objected to the defense presenting an updated report from defense witness John Black, a use of force expert. Binger said Judge Schrader had already ruled some of the evidence in the report couldn't be admitted, but Schrader disagreed. Why would you think that that made it okay for you without any advance notice to bring this matter before the jury? This follows an explosive Wednesday that saw Binger castigated for questioning Rittenhouse about why he didn't speak out prior to the trial with Schrader emphasizing the defendant's constitutional right to avoid self-incrimination. <laughs> the defense is relying partially on Rittenhouse's testimony that he felt his life was in danger and questioning the accuracy of videos of the shooting. The defense has no further witnesses and jury deliberations are expected to begin soon. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.